All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode 10. I have nothing to say for the start of the episode, but as always, like the video if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below because why not? Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the episode right now. I feel like this is in reference to something. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen has been having some uh, references to like film and pop culture so far. It's pretty good. Are these the guys that just died in the theater? So it it says movie club there, so it must be their actual club. It's just those guys were being assholes and trying to take a idol transfiguration. We know this guy has some must have some kind of jujutsu power because he can see curses. I hope we get to see something. Uh, we get to see something from us soon. I'm pretty interested. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting thought. What's this? That's literally just what I said. <laughs> He's obviously it's off to a, a very extreme lengths here, but I understand the feeling of like you know caring about more, caring more about people that you are close to than like care about humans. But yeah. I, I, I somewhat see where he's come from. A little bit. Not as this extreme, though. He's he's a little messed up in the head. Ah, that's his, like, sorcery interest. Or well, not sorcery, his curse, I suppose. Okay. That was quite that was quite the extreme sense of that, but I'll go along with it for the for the for the series. <laughs> Uh, apart from what he just spoke about then, I feel like this guy's the kind of villain that sometimes people can like sympathize sympathize with. Not sympathize, sympathize more than just like um, understand some things where they're coming from. Sometimes like villains like that, they're usually quite good villains. Um, but obviously with this guy's a little, you know, take him with a pinch of salt because this guy's very extreme in that sense. That's a, what else would that be? But what what else would that be, Yuji? <laughs> it looks like a spirit. A uh, spirit, I guess. Yeah. Good. I want to see. Uh, I want to see what is if he has any abilities. We? Does that mean you and Yuji, or just Yuji? Grade two sorcerer possesses strength close to a grade one spirit. Okay. Interesting. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Joe. Oh. Oh. Kento up against the main dude. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> he hates overtime. That's such a worker thing. <laughs> oh, hi, Gojo. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Ah, okay. It's true, he does give off kind of laughable personality, but also insanely strong, like Gojo. That means he's very high. Be very careful. It must be the body. It's like when people are born, they're like... They're little gloops of gloop until they get like a heartbeat and brain function and stuff. Poop poo. I mean, we don't know if the existence of souls is a real thing, but yeah, I could see that souls come before a body, to be honest. That's an interesting thought. I hope you don't find out. <laughs> He's such a worker guy. <laughs> no. Was he fuck? Was he hell? So? Beat this dude's ass. Beat this dude's ass. It's weird as hell. He is insane. <laughs> That's an interesting thought as well, actually. I agree. <laughs> oh, Yuji's such a dumbass. Yuji may have just saved this teacher's life, my guy. No. Oh, he was saying stop to the spirit, not stop to the... Stop to them. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, you do you laugh. Uh, where, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, I hope Yuji's able to like convert this guy to their side. Not just have like these negative feelings filling his head from the zombie dude. Come on, Kento, you got this. I want to know what's on under that uh, wrapped up kind of blade, axe, knife kind of thing that he's holding. Weapon of some kind, that is. I want to know why he keeps it covered up. It's going to be like, it's going to be something similar to Gojo. He kept his eyes covered up and then boom. Craziness. That must suck. But you got to kill them. You got to put them out of their mercy. Grade one. Yeah, I knew it. So that mean he would be able to deal with S grades? Wait, is there an S grade? Am I, what am I saying right now? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Well, he can turn into a horse. Oh. Or a gazelle or something. I don't know. Don't let him touch you, Kenta. But it's like uh, Lemillion versus Overhaul. Actually, except Kento has the same voice actor. That's funny. <laughs> That's Overhaul. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh. Does his tie unleash his cursed energy? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> right, so that was season... Season one. Season one. <laughs> that was episode 10 of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Really looking forward to seeing how this Kendo versus this dude. I, has he given his name yet? Am I allowed to look up his name? Has he given it yet? I'm pretty sure he must have given it by now. Um, someone let me know if you can. Um, if I can look up his name. But uh, yeah. Uh, good episode. Uh, really enjoyed the Kendo versus uh, this guy. And the Yuji getting to meet up with uh, Junpei. Junpei, I believe his name is. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes. I hope Yuji's able to convince Jinpei to come over to his side, kind of maybe enroll in the school if he has potential, like a good, a good amount of cursed energy. Like we saw he was about to use it on his teacher, so he must be equipped with it in some way. Um, I feel like he was going to kill him. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that. Um, but overall, a pretty good episode, and yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.